Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderful Woman of the Week number three and happy Black History Month. Today we are going to be talking about a woman named Teresa Kachindemoto, who is the senior chief of the district of Dedza, Malawi, and right now she has authority over around 900,000 people. She was born and raised in Dedza, and although she was the youngest of 12 children, her father, who was the chief at the time, chose her to be the future chief when she was still just a child. She spent three decades working at a school in Zamba, where she helped introduce new technology to help the university expand its resources. After the passing of her father and her eldest brother, she was visited in Zamba by 15 senior delegates of Zedza, who informed her that she had been chosen to be the next chief. Later, she would find out that the 15 that chose her had not only selected her to honor the wishes of her father, but also thought that a woman like her could affect real change in the area. In one of her first experiences as chief, she saw a little girl holding a crying baby. She told the girl to give the baby back to her mother, and the little girl told her that she was the mother. Chief Kachindemoto asked the girl how old she was, and she said 13. Now, according to the United Nations Population Fund in 2012, one in two Malawian girls are married before the age of 18. Some parents are eager to see their daughters married at as young as 12 years old. When Chief Kachindemoto approached her council about this, they said that this was one of the main reasons she'd been selected, because they thought that she could be the one to really help those girls. Since then... Teresa Kachindemoto has terminated over 840 marriages involving child brides and sent every single one of those girls back to school, completely funded by her. There was resistance, she was threatened, her authority was constantly questioned, but she remained strong. She fired council members who continued to sanction child marriages themselves, and she organized groups at all levels of society to help enforce the ban. She was one of the driving forces behind the government writing a law in 2015, making 18 the legal age of marriage in Malawi, and now she's fighting for the age to be pushed back to 21, so that girls have a chance of pursuing a secondary education. And although it's primarily girls that she is saving and sending to school, she has also sent hundreds of boys who wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. This woman is taking her time and her money and investing it in the youth in her area, Think about how many lives she's saving, how many families she's providing for through educating their children. In closing, as per usual, I would like to end with a quote by her. And here it is. I want all girls to be educated. Because if you educate one girl, you educate the whole area. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. We will see you next week with the next Wonderful Woman of the Week.